Good morning. I hope this game is good. I've been looking forward to it. <clears throat> Double check if the embargo is okay. Uh, let me see. Blah, blah blah. Gameplay content is 12th of April. Oh yeah, it should be fine. Oh, it's the reviews that are not to be out yet. Gameplay is fine. <clears throat> Pokemon stock for the 26 and pow wow 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 thank you to 65 okay let's see <laughs> I am cunts hey you can make like the dutch emblem on this almost but I don't remember what it looks like it's like two lines facing each other but uh fuck it is that randomize? Oh, I didn't realize there were other lords. Oh, what? Well, I thought it was more of a. Um, like Grimwald type of game. <clears throat> but that seems more like an RTS? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Let's just see. This is not sponsored now. Build up your town, your manor. When when ready, press claim towards regions owned by your opponent. When the claim has been pressed, be ready for combat though. Oh yeah, it seems way more artist heavy than I initially thought. Uh Manor Lords, families need food and fuel and a roof about to have to supplies, blah 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 blah. Supplies and the region shows how much you've got left. What's my land? I think it's too early for diplomacy. And this game has a lot of viewers because I think they send out a lot of early access keys to uh, a bunch of streamers. Funny enough, I was watching Cole Carter yesterday and he didn't know about it at all either. So they just skipped him, I think. <laughs> Despite him being one of the bigger uh, variety streamers on all of Twitch. He was like, what the fuck? That's the first time I heard of it. <laughs> uh, how do I even start? Maybe they didn't think they would capture his gaze, you know? Uh, do I have like a town center or something? What the fuck am I doing? Or do I just start? Do I just randomly start or what? It's kind of random. Two tents? Where do you see two tents? Oh, 
Oh. Spacebar pulse? Oh yeah, there's a pulse. Burgage plots. Fuck it. I'm just gonna plop that random shit until I lose the game or something. Let's go, people. Upgrade to a worker camp. I like the sound of that. Child labor and infinite peasants. I don't think there's a stopping point for this. No, I can just play the whole thing. Exposed goods. Oh shit, that's like a billion tabs! I thought they were filters! A house! What the fuck did I do? Just build a house! <clears throat> Granary. Oh shit, dude. My stuff is exposed. I don't think you control individual villages in this game. It's not that kind of game. Unassigned waiting. Oh shit, do I assign villages somewhere? Help, map, army, construction, roads. Do I have to assign him to work or what? I can't stand non-working peasants. I think every peasant, young and old, should be working. I don't feel like any button to press anything, but... Kinda weird it's a PvP game, kind of. Like the setup on this. I thought it was gonna be you just have a town, you know? Like room world and you just uh hold off threats until you eventually die. What are these people? No, it's not PvP, but it's like it's like set out as a PvP game, kind of. Like on how zones are set out, like a skirmish almost. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, it's just being built. Okay. Fast forward 12x. Maybe the game is not meant to be played in 1x. <laughs> Selected and assigned a family when you start to pro start production. Gonna need more peasants. Unemployment minus six, huh? Imagine being a level one family. <clears throat> ah, that's me. I'm a level one family, guys. the goal of this game <clears throat> i think it's domination whatever that means Let's see how much blind my needs are Oh shit, that's safe. Send the peasants to work. You just hate it when you have peasants and they just refuse to work. Like if it were up to me, peasants would be working for the rest of their fucking life. Every day. It's like an RTS? I think so. I was expecting more of a city builder, like a sim type of game. We'll see, I guess. I need more warehouses. I'm overwhelmed by the UI right now. There's too much shit. But I think it'll be fine soon. Storehouse. So rotate button. 
old left click. Some more army lord. What did I just press? Did I just fuck up the whole family? I shouldn't cut lumber next to the the animals. Mm, I think I saw a stone pit somewhere. Apiary. Oh, mining. I hope the AI doesn't randomly buttfuck me. That'd be really unlucky. Number of months before supplies run out? Huh? Ah shit! Three berries? Where are the berries at? Fuck I put a stone cutter on the clay camp! This is the stone one. Wild animals have migrated. Well, here are berries. I'm not playing Topic 6, no. I have too many games on my plate this month. Is no one constructing? Her family's on the same way work on construction. I think I have nobody on the sign, so no one's working as a builder. It's hard to see how many people have signed on random things, though. I still have five homeless. Like I already access for this? I mean, they just sent me a key and they were like, this is the embargo date. And I was like, sure. Cool. Thank you, Blizzard31. We don't think the 250 bits. 
And maybe it'll be nice to the servant and butlers because you can't forget your manners. How many unassigned people? Oh, there we go. Is that like an overall list of where everyone's working? I never played this game's demo, no. Families request more market area for their stall. What the fuck is a market area? Marketplace. Corpse pits. Fucking hell. Oh my god, my supplies. I don't know which building this is. I thought I picked one earlier. Two food left. Feels in a very bit one more Check fertility, some cops are moving. Oh my god, there's fertility too. I guess green is fertile. Oh shit, did I put my houses there? That's super fertile land right there. I wish I saw this before now. Why must employee work in the fields to work with uh, blood when cops are going up to neutral with a certain time with low in fertility and uh, comment this consider changing cop that didn't even know uh, oh yeah.
I think we eat meat and berries and hope for the best. Fucking hell, there's not enough people to work with. Fuck the forest there, I guess. Oh, I see. I have 21 people, but it's only seven families. And you assign stuff as families to work on it as a business rather than individual humans. Let's form the militia? That sounds way too early for militia. Are you kidding me? I like the little pictures for them. Footmen! The mills will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment, the shields, uh, the weapon and shield depending on the unit. Blah, blah, blah. Bring all this. I'm missing swords and shields and people. My bad. I think we need more peasants. And then hope for the best. I don't know if this works like this, but I'm just gonna try. I really like how the game looks. It feels like that game where you play as Henry the Butcher. Storage space left with production for hunting camp, really? Generic storage. Oh, I see. It wasn't that much. This is really neat. The uh, building plots like this. Something super cool about it. Research stolen by nearby bandits? Hello? Cut their hands now. Cut them all. It's kind of hard to follow what's actually happening. I need more oxes. I would live here. No bias, but I would live here.
I don't think anyone's working on stone yet. No, no, no. I don't have enough people. I need more houses. Every family should have 15 children. Thank you, Dodge, for the 31. Boy works, thank you for the 45. Needs water. Needs a wooden church. <laughs> one one type of food. Bread again, me lord. Ah uh, yes, yes, me lord. Bread, bread again. Personally, companies available. What? Feels good, man. Another family. <clears throat> Don't I have one of these? I could have sworn I made a salt pit somewhere. No, I guess I skipped it. Trying to eyeball on top of it? No, I haven't. Oh, actually, I have. So when you just go zoom in, huh? What the fuck? Come on, then! Wow, that looks so, that looks so cursed. That looks giga fucking cursed. Sixty-two food suddenly. Oh my god, we're eating berries all day, all night. It's all berries now. Thirty-three wood. How about another logging camp? Ah, I keep. I keep left cl uh, right clicking to turn in this game it's holding the other button it's holding left click I can need another ox there how much does an ox do oh, fuck I'm pressing like, every button to find the ox disease people suffering these may stop working access to herbs my speed of recovery I think cut them down before it spreads cut them all down
Need more houses, my lord. <clears throat> Thank you, Akiki, for the 28. Oh, are you? Fucking hell, that's a fast working woman. Holy shit. Medieval peasants were built different. Oh, I see. I think I need two more, right? The houses. I got the game early? No, I got it late. I'm gonna start playing it uh, in two weeks. Do they have water access? I wonder how far that goes. Where do you even put that? Okay. Are the shadows off or something? Oh, they are. Oh, dude, everything is on the ultra. Oh my god, dude. I pressed this on ultra and my whole game fucking lagged for 10 years. Come on, then. Stocks damaged by weather. Ten stone. Homelessness. New mercenary companies available. It's like one family building every house in the fucking world right now. Yo, this feature is sick. You know what needs this? City skylines. They could use a feature like this. My uh, PC is making jet engine noises. <laughs> oh, I think the shadows lag the game quite a bit. And lower them a bit. Let's put this on medium, put this on high. There's definitely some lag spikes. I could take job for the 18. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies.
Victor's like, I'm permanently chasing after more houses. Just like IOL. Oh no. That's a lot of stone for one family working. That's a good family. They probably have like 15 children working at that stone camp. Fucking hell. Whenever a family is in charge of building, it's slow as shit. Dude, this, this looks so cursed, these olds. <laughs> Colors Lodge. There's family classes in this year. I think at some point it's gonna be like, you know, the lords and the slums. You're gonna have all your nobles and those people. Firewood. You can upgrade houses, yeah, but it's kind of like Anno, where you need to hit all the things. But I still need way more houses. I, th I think the plus eight means I need plus eight more houses for eight more families that can work on my lands. Can't they just live in boxes? Thank you, magical job over the 37. You want their families to challenge my power at some point if they become too powerful? I think you just do it like in real life. You just cut their hands. Abandoned camp was sighted. That's not on my land. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> it's not even near me. Fucking hate bandits. I think plus eight means eight on the construction? I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? Maybe you're right. I think I only have 11 families then? Yeah, it should be. Firewood. Firewoods! People can invade my lands, yeah. I think that's like one of the premises of the game where you have a standing army or you hire mercenaries and you fight shit. But it's a very, very slow start. You're just gonna need. weird though how come there's homelands if i have 11 families but 17 houses there's some fat kids or what they don't fit in the house There's empty houses. Where the 
the fuck are they homeless? <laughs> are they poor? These people wait for more burgers in the moment because of the uh, well. Camps, maybe? I don't know. Let me see. Maybe I need a corpse pit. Place an empty. No, I think this is to claim land. Why are you homeless? Fucking Peter transporting meat. Well, we have extra houses. Like 10 of them. They just choose to be homeless. <laughs> Thank you, the Greasy. 45 months. Fuck it. I guess let's move on to the next project. Whatever I need. I need a church. And church needs 20 wooden planks. And wooden plank needs a saw pit. And my salt pit is... Not even built yet. Feels good, man. Maybe it needs fuel first? I don't know. I have 80 fuel. It's firewood. How do you pronounce my town's name? What is the town's name? Here? It's Eichenhau. It's more German than Dutch though. I need another hitching post. Also, playing on one X speed is not it in this game, I think. What's the hotkey for that? F1? No. Oh, whoa! Tap gives me a lot of info. I'm, I'm pressing every button. Let's see what's up. Saw pit complete. One family will dedicate the rest of their lives to working on this saw pit. They will and the children will and their children will. They all get to work forever. It feels good, man. Do the children not work in this game?
I don't know why they sell homeless people. I also don't really understand uh, what this exact mechanic is. Maybe there's conditions before they can move into a house. It's not all of these though. Like for example, this one doesn't have most of these things ticked off. And now they're living in here too. Oh, this also needs a worker. Put one here. Let's see what else. Oh, this needs a worker. Everything needs a fucking worker. Jesus. Hey. Oh no, there's the homeless. No, oh, fucking, fucking sukas. I'm not done with all the gladiators now. Still playing it. I just have a lot of things to play in this in this whole month. It never ends. Kingdom Come 2 is coming out next week? Really? Oh, just the announcement, you mean? That game has been uh, in the oven for like five years now, or what? Maybe even more than five. I missed that game. What rank am I in gladiators? I don't know. I'm like bronze or something. I didn't really play ranked much. I usually play in houses with my friends only. 12x speed. Holy shit, the game lags on 12x speed sometimes. <laughs> B what? 12 berries stolen by bandits? Uncool. Thirty-six low-level families. Is that twenty-four kids and twelve adults? Fuck! They need to start more fucking more kids. Get more kids out for more work. I want to see fifteen kids per family. Just like in old times. Oh, I made another logging camp, but it seems like a bad idea now. Let's delete this one and add people to this one instead. Does the workstation do? I don't know. Are five families working in this fucking worker camp? Oh, this is workspace. How do I unselect this? I think it's just showing all places that are worked at. Oi, the farm! We need another family. Fuck the forester. Holy shit, you can dedicate eight families to the farms. If the field is not set to fail, workers plow and should. Blah. Got it.
It's not one dude managing the fields, it's one family. They all get to work together. Wife, child, husband. Feels good, man. Never a dull moment in their life. Also, never a resting moment in their life. But this is like one of those Chinese ghost towns, man. What the fuck is this? It's like 15 empty houses. I don't really know what I'm waiting for right now, besides just having more families come in. Winter is coming! And we're plowing fields? The fuck? Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. We do even see seasons. Oh shit, dude. I need five burgage plots to get the next level town, but I have 19. <laughs> I need two of the level two ones. Level two, generate one gold, region of per family per month for next new extension works and blah, blah, blah. So I need a church, two types of food and a clothing stall. I guess so. Start with the clothing then in that case. Oh, but clothing probably needs some kind of farming type, no? I would imagine so at least. The molding house. They use the wool to produce yarn and something to produce linen flax. Okay. This should be a skill thing. I don't know. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, I can make the church now. I wonder if this is a bug or not. How can there be five homeless? Ain't no fucking way. Oh, there's more kids now. Let's fucking go. Never been so happy to see more children in my town. They yearn for the fields. I've never seen a kid so happy before entering a field of, of grain and wheat. They love it. I think I, I should have hides. Makes leather, but I don't think I use leather yet. Oh, let's just wait for this church to finish, I guess, and then move on. I'll be playing Frostpunk too as well, yeah. Oh, 
Wait, is winter already over? No, it looks like fall is happening right now. Oh, it's here. Oh. After you reach the next element level, you began to develop into blah 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 spin blah 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 blah. Trade out, phone supplies. Plowing? I do like plowing. What the fuck takes three years for these things to pay off? <laughs> Did I start now? Fuck it. Holy shit. Three fucking years, man. I guess it's his field, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. The fertility of fields is not good here. I love the looks of the fields in a game like this. Looks sick, right? Oh shit, it's not this one. There is crop rotation in this game, yeah. The hell did I just... What did I unlock? Oh, maybe it's a building. It's not a field. It really should be under farming though. <laughs> They got scammed or what? Don't know. Some leaves will disappear when it gets cold and they appear again in the spring. Oh, like berries and stuff, right? Yeah. Well, I have 87 food, so let's hope we don't fucking freeze to death and starve. So what about the fan that's working in the thing? Do they automatically... Okay. Okay, round two. <laughs> Let's look for it again. The apple orchards or whatever they're called. Is there really not one of these? I don't know. Is that church up yet? Still in the construction. Oh, 
Like, even if it's a building upgrade, I've checked like everything almost. Bandits stealing my berries during winter, no less. Are these guys gonna die now because they have no house? Or what? A pasture is not for trees. Pasture is like a... It's a place for animals to graze. Whatever. Maybe I'll run into it later. Oh, I have spears and lord shields. But no men. Going back to one next speed. Wait, maybe I can find it here. Is there a search button? Maybe this did automatically? I don't fucking know. Well, I get I guess it's gonna be a building where I click an upgrade on at some point. <gasps> My trading post is finished. We have nothing to trade at all. We're fucking poor people, man. What is this? Thank you. Only chat not gig over the seven months. Thank you, EC, for the 58. I don't know if this is a finished game or not. I don't know if this is early access or early early access. I guess we'll see. Twenty-eight children now. Oh, 
early access kind of lost its meaning in the last few years too like sometimes you have early access games and it's like chapter one out of five you get to touch you know and half the features aren't in and it's buggy and other times early access is like a it's like a live service game without the extra payments when they maintain the game for another 15 years like terraria or something Early access has really broad in uh, definition. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. Step right up and sample. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad day. Uh, these things do happen from time to time. One man building a church. Another beam coming up. I think it's supposed to be like a sandbox freeform kind of game. That's what I thought initially and how it plays too. And then at the beginning you choose an opponent and there's like a bot that's playing here too. So it kind of feels like a skirmish type RTS game now. But maybe not with PvP elements uh, balanced in mind. Where's, where's my sword? Can't jump. Oh, he's hammering the fucking... in the dirt. This is what I'm paying for right now. This would look so nice if this house wasn't blocking this can this field. Maybe I can just remove this field. Nelly pellets. Yeah, should be fine. I love the looks of the fields in this game. This is really real life looking, huh? Real life looking fields. Let's do another field. I think I can sustain it now. I have families coming up. Uh, I mean, this looks like good land here. It's hard to see this outline, huh? I'm getting cocked by like one fucking dog shit camp I put there ages ago. It's blocking it right now? Oh, I put a fucking hitching post here. Jesus. Let's remove that. I don't think I need it anymore. I didn't realize I could assign more to the same hitching post. What the fuck is a Morgan? <laughs> this camp cocks more than anything I've ever seen in my life. Come on, come on. Can I fix the road? Ah, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> Where's the delete button? <laughs> there must be one. 
Oh, go move. <gasps> what the fuck? I didn't click on that one. It's a disaster. It's a disaster. I can't fucking see shit because of the snow. Is it too big or what? Oh, there's different kinds of fertility. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck is Emmer? I can build here, but not here. Oh, I think a road is blocking here or something. Or supplies are blocking, maybe? Oh no. King's road cannot remove. Oh wait, I can make these two. Something here cucks. I think it's a supplies. See, this is this is good farmland. Maybe I should put it somewhere else. I don't think these care. They don't care about fertility. Doesn't look like it at least. Oh, I can't see the line, man. Snow is good farmland? Well, if you didn't know, snow usually disappears when spring comes. And then underneath the snow, there's regular land. Oh yeah, it's this, this thing is cucking. It's like one- it's one fucking log. One log is cucking me. Oh, I can upgrade them. Oh, here we go. Apple orchards. I guess it needs everything for me to go for level two. So I need clothing and I need another food type. I have no idea how I still have five homeless there. I, th I think they're bugged. <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to be homeless. I think they choose to be homeless. And it's really just not my problem anymore. Berries. Berries. 
I need to buy sheep. I guess the trader comes by every now and then. I have no money though. Well, oh, there's a homeless camp, but I think that just means uh this one. Not sure. But they're supposed to move into houses whenever they can. It's just like these five people don't for some reason. There's no farming done in winter, no. They farm uh, from like spring to November or so. I need a field for flux, right? Flux, you can make linen. Is linen already clothing? No, right? There's no... Uh, maybe it's a market thing. I don't know. Oh, the bigger houses get an upgrade in the backyard. And the smaller houses are simply poor and they don't get anything. Feels good, man. Holy fuck, I chose apples? Even the 50 money. I'm poor. Maybe I just can get rid of this. It's kind of weird though. I think this thing is just housing five families right now in this fucking tents. But it said it would go away automatically, no? Oh no, let's see. Oh! They really just didn't move in because they were living in a fucking worker camp. A bunch of animals. Are we willing to move the country they've ever given a chance? Nah, fuck living on countryside, man. I used to live pretty close to uh, countryside. But it just gets so, so boring. I don't even go outside and I find it boring. And the uh, options for food is very limited. Also, in a lot of countryside places here, you need a car to get around. And I don't want to get a car. Because I barely go out anyway. They stole 10 of my fucking hides. Damn bandits. Come one, come all. Did they move this yet? No one's moving this one plank here. And this one plank is cocking from placing a field in this in this area. I guess it's because the supply thing is full. What if I upgrade it? No, it's not even full. It goes from 250 to 2,500? I guess I delete this one then. There's no way I need to. I 
People love where they grow up. If you raise in a city, you almost likely struggle in the countryside. I wouldn't say struggle is the right word. It's more like it's simply inconvenient. Like unless you want peace and quiet, why would you live in the countryside? <laughs> I could put a field here. I, I hate these resources. Oh, did they move it? No, it's this one. They're just randomly cooking. Oh, it's a hitching post. You love the countryside because you can enjoy the nature. We don't need to live in a countryside to enjoy the nature. Raiders! I can also enjoy the countryside now. By just going to it. You kinda do? There's no way, dude. What if I just wanted to go out for like half a day? And go to the natural... Oh, not sorry, not the natural. The nature park here. Why do I have to live there to enjoy it? Park is the same as being out in nature? It's a big ass park, dude. No, I lived on countryside, like I said, for like the first 22 years of my life or something. It is boring as heck and extremely inconvenient. When do they start farming? <clears throat> oh oh I, I thought I was gonna pick up this one fucking locket that's cocking the whole field man is it like a force pickup button or something Raiders are coming 360, whatever this is. It's fine. We have spears and shields. The Netherlands, the only nature you'll get is usually the parks they maintain. And there's some really big parks that feel like mini forests. I guess one in The Hague, and I think there's two in Rotterdam. Not sure about other places. I've, I've never really explored like Amsterdam and stuff like that. Okay, how the fuck do I get rid of this one plank here? I even upgraded the storage. Oh, it's not even done yet. Province do I live in? I live in Holland, dude. Plow the fields. Mm. 
No, if I could get this lock the fuck off. Let's see, is that, is that button for it? Remove? No, delete. Alright, I think I have to be really careful on deleting stuff. Like, every time I delete a building, it's just like one one lock here too, just cucking the whole place for the rest of its fucking existence. Which province? Utrecht or Gelderland? Bro, Holland is Holland. There's only two. <laughs> what do you mean Utrecht or Gelderland? Okay, let me see. How do I get rid of this? What if I put a building across it that uses logs? Maybe they'll move it over to build it. And then I'll have it there instead. I could use a tannery here, actually, no? Thank you, Mr. Bobble29. Is there war and carnage in this game? There is. But ra raiders are coming in 340 whatever turns or uh, this is. There is a lot. Zeeland, Gelderland, Utrecht, Friesland. Uh, bro. There's only two provinces in Netherlands called Holland. It's North and South Holland. <laughs> it's uh, kind of how it works. They skipped the fucking log and picked it up from somewhere else. Well, Fuck! It's just cucking here forever. Alright. Well, I tried my best. I guess this log is just part of history now. Oh, you can only do... I think you can only do four points. Wait, it went past it. Hey, hold up. Oh my god. It's snapping to that one. Oh my god, dude. I'm just getting cucked. I'm getting so cucked. Fucking disaster. You know what? Fuck it, dude. 13% only, huh? Ooh. Seems kinda bad. Eh, let's just see. It keeps slowing down my game. I need to assign families to that farm. I think you assign families to the farmhouse and then you just kind of have to like judge if you have enough people or not. And I don't, I just don't know. You know, I just gotta try out and see what's up. Seems fine so far though. Maybe it's gonna give a pop up if you don't have enough people working somewhere. How, how can I not find berries? It's like right there. Food storage is getting kind of low. Uh, I need to set up like bread and stuff. The whole production line. Mm. Let's do it like here. Which 
Maybe I should put the pantry and the flower meal thingy and everything on the same spot, huh? For less walking. But I don't know if this is... Needed. Is this a collect, store, distribute goods? Oh, maybe not. What's the other one? An oven. I solved the homeless people issue, yeah. Turns out they were just staying there because I didn't delete the old camp. So they were just living there forever. Seriously, this has to be a bug. There's no way it's just like one log here just living forever, rent free. Oh, you can upgrade the hitching post. Cool. Look, there's one here too, just, just living here forever. What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Oh, I should really put a forester here. Maybe like here. I don't think it's storage problems. This is the storage for it, the logs. Or is it? No, it's actually- there's no logs in here. <laughs> Where the fuck did they put logs? I have 70 logs. They're putting- they're getting put somewhere. I'm not the gallery. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. No. I think it's just supposed to go here. It just it just doesn't. Make it announced for the 15. Do you have to be seen to get the access? I don't know. They just send me one. I was like, sure, cool. Very cool stuff. Pasture for what? Have no sheep. Generic storage full. It cannot be. It's 2500 space. The origin of Tanner. Demolishing this one and have another lock live there forever. And I put the guy here instead.
<clears throat> Jesus. The harvest rate matters a lot, huh? <laughs> I don't think I should do this infertile land, uh... Things. I want to remove all the roads here. Not that it matters because oh, <laughs> I think the logs will eventually disappear from the the weather damage. There's a lot of houses and they're so empty, some of them. Or oh, one of them only now. Imagine being the only house that goes apples in his backyard. This guy's getting shanked for sure. Make up job over to the bits. Wonder how much food this is gonna be. It takes so long to to gather. You have to like plan out the whole season even. Am I missing logs to upgrade this? Or is it the other two thingies? No, it must be the other two thingies. How come this button doesn't do anything? <laughs> this is the baitiest question mark button I've ever seen. This seems kind of useless right now. I have nothing to trade. It's weird that these guys don't craft. I do have hides. Like it's this building, I think? Oh, I'm out of hides, actually. Oh, no wonder. We assign like another hunter. Two hunters. 
Eine Upgrade hier. Apparently it's still like 10 of them, but I still have like 8 more, I think. Oh, hey, it works. Okay, I just need the second type of food. I guess I don't have enough meat, huh? Yeah, we're just eating berries all day, all night. So I guess once I get the bread going, I should have two types of food. And the bread will come once this field is done growing. Yeah. <sighs> Twelve x speed. Also, Ben is coming in two hundred and sixty turns. Whatever this is. There is meat in this game. I mean, we're hunting meat here, but it's not enough for the upgrades. Also, it's not enough uh, clothing either. Need more families. Clothing stall finished. Oh, hey. Level two. I wonder if they'll get mad if they don't have two types of food anymore. Because I don't think the meat will last. This seems to be a bug too. It says workers can't find anything together within the area, at least for now. But right here, there's like 128 berries, and they're actually going there too. But it's still showing that they can't go there. Oh no. Oh, now it's gone. We're gonna do manual work area. I guess the unlimited work area bugs out. Fuck man, they all live in barns. Hey, shouldn't that be my level up or something? What was that page? Can it go in as a lord? I don't know. You wanna watch peasants fuck? Oh, you can't go in. Come 
Nice leather. Leather. Nice Perfect for boots, belts, and don't be well, shy. Okay, now they need another church level and tavern supply. Third food type and the second clothing type. Fucking hell, they're needy. Am I medium village now? I don't know. Oh no, here. I need another level two uh, house, which is this one here. Oh, none of these are done. Only this one, I think. I'm gonna get a drink. BRB. Oh man, that's laggy. Yo, Warhammer style commands. Peasants forward. I know how to play this game. F1, F3. Just like Sun Tzu. Back to work, you fucking peasants. What are they all playing? Fucking LARPers. Oh, I need to start assigning people to bakery and stuff. Um, let's see. Do I really need two people in storehouse? I think my town is not big enough or something like that. Okay, so one on this. Let's remove one from farm. Or do we? Hmm. I have two on tannery right now, but I think that's too much already because I don't have enough. Yeah, I just don't have enough shit. A family! Two families and then... Four of them are just not doing anything. This game feels like it's gonna have a lot of potential. Even from just what I've played so far. Level 2 settlement! <coughs> oh, 
<coughs> sheep breathing? The fuck? Why are we breeding sheep? Are these, these men are perverts. No, it doesn't fit here. Fuck! Is, is it the log cocking again or what? Holy shit, I thought it was a fire. Let's see, it said I can only place two per region. Okay, let's see. I need a five level two houses. This sounds like the witchy music. I'll add some more houses too. I think it's capped out because yeah, it's 20 families and 20 houses. I wonder if that's cocking me right now. Uh, let's see, residential. Oh, uh, wait, how do I? Oh, yeah, okay, that's much better. Seems nice that you can leave like an extra little bit of space behind the houses and they can plant like apples and shit. I don't have no logs. We need more children working the fucking loggers. Right about now. I love the way towns look in this game. They find out how to buy sheep. I bet I have to trade for it or something. I haven't seen the cart yet that they came by. Maybe it's like another mechanic I need to look into more. Order a new horse. This music sounds like you're at a ball party in The Witcher. And Geralt is dressed up like a clown again. That was a livestocking building, yeah. I remember seeing it too. But I don't know if this is... Like trading to get livestock at all, or if it's just trading between other regions. Because this kind of looks like it's for... When I already have them established. We'll see, I guess.
Oh wow, my food count is really high. It's all berries. <laughs> We're just, just eating berries all day, every day. Is there even meat left? And 12 old animals. Well, this guy just casually makes war bows in his fucking backyard or what? What the shit is this? <laughs> oh, you can make ale for malt. Oh, so like all the citizens are like specialists in what they do. That's kind of cool. Because I don't see a place here to make mold otherwise. Maybe it comes later as a more generic building for everyone. I need to get barley now. Nice. By my own skill, I have put the houses on the most fertile land of the entire place. It's absolutely perfect. The fields look so sick here. I love it. This is... Artisan workshops can sometimes produce multiple types of goods. To select what good is being produced, check the general tab in the building tab panel. Where the fuck is the general tab? <laughs> I'm assuming it's this one. Construction? Or the building itself, maybe? Oh, it's the building itself. This is the apple seller. Two apples a day. <laughs> How many days? 150 days left until the bandits come. gonna do? I think they're coming to fuck my ass. Another ruler's army was sighted? Brigands for hire. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. They're not even coming here. <laughs> they're legit fucking peasants, dude. These are like the, the second rank soldiers you get in Bannerlord. The peasants have a leather cap, like a stovetop shield, and a fucking wooden club. I wonder where they're going. It's not the way it's me. Oh, they're going towards the bandit camp! Is there more about combat? I'm sure there will be if there isn't. I think games like this will attract a lot of players who just want to build a pretty town. This fucking I've always wanted to see like a proper medieval fight. What the fuck? Okay, that's, I don't think that's proper. You know, just like a medieval fight where a bunch of peasants and knights fight each other. That must be so much friendly fire. Hmm. 
Why aren't they running? Because you don't want to enter a fight exhausted, I'd say, I think. Can you imagine sprinting to your opponent from the other side of the country? Charge! It's very Warhammer-ish, huh? On how they fight. Okay, okay, this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah. Go guys, fight! Looks like an episode of Vikings. I love fighting these kind of fights in Banner Lords. Where two armors is just like stuck like this. And then you just go behind and then stab them like it's London. Uh, I'll check for the wire module soon, I don't know. So many other things to do. Fight. Broken. Broken on the inside. Out of berry soon. Still building those tier two houses, huh? Still not done. I think I clicked more than five. I'm just waiting for him to finish. Oh, I have no one to build. No wonder. I don't think it's good to reassign people all the time too, because they set up stalls based on where you put them. I think it takes time for them to put up new stalls and stuff like that. Space Benanoid today? No, I think I'm just gonna play this for today and then tomorrow Rimworld, day after Star Sector, I don't know. I wanna play all three games, but I only have one body, so what can you do? Where's my money? Oh, it's this 13 regional wealth. I don't even know where they make firewood. I guess it's the wood color. Maybe it sells it. <laughs> Greg called his son cunts. Unlucky. How's the game? Game is pretty cool so far. I played against the storm, yeah. I gotta get back to that game too at some point. Because it's been full release for like a few weeks already. And I only played the early access of that game. Oh, do I have to assign people to this? Of course I do. Play DD2 DLC. Is the darkest dungeon? If so, no.
I've just been swamped with different games since like last year, August. I never have time for anything. These guys don't even have food. Not even one type. And no fuel either. They're just starving and, and freezing. Why is that? The refund of Tarkus Dungeon for 30 minutes? Really? Such a nice game though. I'll be playing V Rising too, yeah. You're 42 years old, you can't handle the stress? Come on, it's not that hard. If I can beat the entire game with like two or three losses or whatever it was, you, you can too, man. It's a turn-based game. There's no stress. Let's get these houses out first. I'm getting cocked because I don't have space for new families. Oh, I really like medieval setting games. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I think my absolute favorite setting for shows and, and games is a uh, low fantasy medieval setting. And sometimes a little bit higher than low fantasy, like uh, like Lord of the Rings style stuff and things like that. I only have two months of supplies, huh? Fuel left, two months. I think I need more woodcutters. I don't know who makes firewood in this. I think it's the woodcutters. It's definitely not the salt pit. Oh, wait, it's two different ones. Oh, shit, I think I removed the other one. I don't even have one of these right now. I thought those two were the same building. Yeah, I think I removed it here already. No wonder I'm running low on it. Wait, what does this use? Trees, not logs. Interesting. <laughs> Come on! I think these backyards are too small, huh? And this one's just barely big enough for the upgrades, and this one isn't. Kind of a shame. If I knew, I'd have put all of the houses with extra backyards so they can put, make their own stuff. Yeah, uh, the first one is off in these kind of games. I mean, they always are, right? Like, just from building placement alone. These building, these town sim games, it's always a disaster. Should have seen my roads at the beginning. I had, like, fucking roads crisscrossing, like, eight times over. What's the wind condition? The wind condition is to dominate the other lord that lives here. But I get the feeling I'm not gonna win my first run. I'm not really liking the idea of winning a map against like a skirmish type AI. I think, uh, I don't know if it's like a different mode. Maybe there's an endless mode too, where you just fend off bandits and think forever. Like forever scaling bandits with your forever scaling town. Sounds much cooler than, uh, 
Like a skirmish mode bot. I've been watching Freeran, yeah. Oh, yo. New family already. Yeah, I'm, I'm lacking houses. Also focus on upgrading them, but... I need more people to work the fields. The fields don't work themselves. We need more children. Every family should have 18 children. Oh, I'm gonna need this building up too. The woodcutter's lodge. Six months of food and two months of fuel. It's totally fine. I think this is a way to have houses maintain their own little extra food thingy. And this guy just eating fucking berries and vegetables for the rest of his life. It's kind of OP having extra space behind your house. I hate that these are just like barely too small here. This is not max settings and graphics. It's uh, all on high, I think. One, one below max. Yeah, for oxes I can, but uh, one ox is pretty much managed by one whole family. So they're not cheap to have around. I think, I think it's here. I can buy another horse too. Oh, did I ever finish that trading building? No. Just very slow on building everything. Raiders attacking in 55 days. Grain and flour. Oh no, dude. I think they're bringing the grain and flour here and then they're taking it back here to process it in the bakery. The oven. 
Oh, it's a fucking disaster. Maybe if I put another grain area here, they're just gonna put stuff here and then move over the bread to the other side. Uh, I'll deal with it later, I guess. Beekeepers also collect cum. No. New building, firewood, cart, permanent market store, which provides passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region doesn't pay the transport fee, must be placed in the marketplace. Oh, permanent bread and firewood. As long as they have money. Doesn't say how much it costs though. Oh, the snow makes it so hard to see what I'm even placing. The fuck? What am I placing? It has to be in the market, maybe? Oh, yeah, I see. Is it- is it there or not? <laughs> I guess it's coming. Food card abandoned. Feels bad, man. Level three uh, houses. Need one more clothing type. Church level two and a tavern. Church level two needs 10 something. Looks like clay or something? I'm not sure. Yeah, clay tiles. But also need clay itself. I'm out of money. Firewood seems to be fine now. I think I made the market area a bit too big. Not baking bread. I think the path they have to walk back and forth to is bad. They are making bread though.
I only have pointy sticks and nothing else. Pointy sticks and shield. No helmets. Let's hope it's not more than 18 raiders or 20 raiders. Forty one wild animals there. So I really need part that all the workshops are just like backyard production bases from from the peasants. Like this guy can make shields and crossbows? Like really? Kinda makes sense, yeah, of course. It's just uh I've never seen it before in a game. Oh, I should have made a lot more houses from the beginning. I think I, I've been cucking myself pretty much from just not building more houses. Families just didn't move in. Any war? I think war is coming. Action is coming. Seven days until raiders attack. I have a 20 man army. Another bandit camp. I think this lock piece, transitionary resource, is the bug. Oi! It's gone! Oi! 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 Enemy has been spotted. But they're in fucking Narnia. Attacking during winter? Never heard of Napoleon?
Okay, they, they show up all the time at least. It's not like Rimworld where I have to look for one fucking asshole somewhere on my map. I wonder if their effectiveness is gonna drop super low before they even reach. Time for war! Did it make any shields yet? No. I wonder how long it takes when they start making shields. Like, who is it? This one, I think? It's planks. Oh, they're kind of cheap. Fuck it. Make big shields. Huge shields. I guess this tab is tier 2, right? Yeah, Burwitch plot level too low, not enough wealth. Too poor and too low level. <laughs> ah, shit, man. The logs are gone, yeah. So many families joining in. I I just feel like you know, I play like an RTS game and I just I just never stop building houses. Yeah, the eco boom, right? It's, it's like playing fucking Age of Empires. Why would I stop at 50 villages when I can make 280? An ox building is a speed limit factor, but I can have more ox buildings though. And I can have more oxes. Although they cost money and I'm poor. Shit, did I get it too late? Can I split them up? Wait, let me read everything here. Give ground, missile alert, balance, stand your ground, to the center ground, De defense is doubled, but attack frequency is halved. Push, and disband, run to position, hold. Looks like hammer and anvil is a nice set in these type of games. Any pitchforks? No pitchforks, right? No, these are proper soldiers. The country's finest, honestly.
can't control individuals, huh? I need a second group of, of an army. I need like a DPS group and a non-DPS group. Fuck, man. Where's my two-handed sword? Very Dota Warish in terms of combat. Pretty nice. Running? Run them down. Push forward, man. Oh, I can't you can't chase them down? Okay. Any loot? Oh, dude, when soldiers die of their gear, the gear just disappears. That's fucked up, man. Transporting a dead body? What is he holding? Oh, I need to make a corpse pit now. Where was this? Oh, this side of town, okay. Where do I see my my stocks for killing weapons? Cause here I'm just missing a sp I need a spear maker. And I need whatever these are. Where are these swords? More games should steal the Warhammer style. With a Total War style uh, combat. It is really nice for RTS type games. Alright, one family dedicated for the corpse pits. How would you say like no bread? How's that possible? 73 flour, no bread. I think I just have to move this building. We move it closer to the, the granary. And hope for the best. There's no way I have no flour at all. Or no, no bread with this much flour available. I haven't seen a new Dune movie yet, no. I haven't even seen the first one. Gotta get to it. Oh yeah, it's so easy to upgrade them when you give them... ...something like carrots. Oh, but if you give them carrots... ...they can't make important things, so that's the downside. Ah, I see, I see. It's for like a easy upgrade. But it's a shitty band-aid fix. Because you can't turn them into like artisans of weapons and armor and stuff. I think I need more food now. Well, if the bakery works, it's fine. Also, I have the apiary, right? There's another one here. 
a bit more firewood too. Oh here, I can buy sheep. If I had a single coin to my name, I could buy sheep. No tax in this game, I think. Dirty logs will have 51 planks. What's this? Blocks, tools, wooden parts, roof tiles. Lots of level 2 houses coming up now. Show corpses? I, I don't think you're gonna see corpses here, man. Whoa. I didn't mean to go out like that. What the fuck? The husband and son are both called Heinz? <laughs> okay. Alrighty then. Did I ever make the tavern thingy? No, right? Oh, I never had malt. What? A bandit stealing my... Re oh my... Where are they? Where are them fucking bandits at? Is it this camp? It has to be that camp. I need more men though. I don't think 19 soldiers is going to cut it. I need to be making lots of shields, but no pointy sticks. I only have 19 soldiers now because one of them died and apparently they don't recover his fallen spear. He's just buried with him. I don't know if I want to upgrade these houses here because they don't have a backyard. Maybe that's part of the strats in the game. You just have like slum yards with the shittiest possible houses. And then it works up to the aristocrats up here with a garden bigger than their house. I played that one ring, yeah. I, uh, I finished that. What the fuck is this? Requirements not yet. Oh, they're missing something. Oh, like food or something. Should be fine. This guy can't find berries again in the forest full of berries. 
Yeah, very buggy on this one. I'll play the last spell DLC, yeah, whenever that's out. I'll see. I don't know when I'm gonna play it though, maybe not on release, because I'm pretty swamped on games right now. I can see why they added 12 x speed to this game. There's not many games with this type that's 12 x speed, but yeah, there's a lot of moments in this game where nothing happens. I'm playing No Rest for the Wicked? Nah, I'm skipping that one, I think. I just don't have the time. Did I see iron earlier? Yeah, there's iron here. I wonder if that replenishes by the day or something, or by the next like, season. No remote for today, no. Just uh, my new lords. We have a lot of flour. These are really expensive. Oh, I'm just poor. Yo, I'm ditching these. There's no way. They're way too expensive. Oh my god, the pants is stealing my flower. Minus five blanks, huh? I need more families. These houses, they need to be... Oh my god, I build. The children. They need to start chopping wood. Minus five planks.
More houses. I need more firewood soon, I think. Gonna have to upgrade my granary soon. Or another ox, fuck it. These bandits are just... I'm, I'm killing them. The moment I have 30 men, I'm coming over and I'm fucking their ass. These bandits. Stealing my shit non-stop. Highest priority on this blacksmith. Definitely need more fuel now, huh? Which one was it? This one? Is this fire? Oh, it's this one. The fire. See, how much do I need to get a new region even? What was the work camp, I think? Or do I just go over here? How does that work? Two fifty gold. Place it on empty claimed territory in order to settle it. Can base starting supplies and five starting families. I have sixteen dollars right now, I'm poor. Another food store. Shit, I thought I had 20 shields, but it's 20 extra shields. Are we fucking ass? Soon. Oh, that's why my planks are going, I think. <laughs> this guy just making shields non-stop using all the planks in the in the village. I don't like my, that my top is like all the way in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, it's a very long walk in here. They go here to here and then they go here. Finally, setting over the, the wood. <clears throat> Low on fuel. Three families on it now. I think it's can still access stuff, yeah. There's a trading post. But I haven't seen the trader come by yet. Maybe I just make the trade and they come over. Trade rule is set to no trade. Like a palsy thing or something? Early access things. <clears throat> huh? 
How am I this low on planks? Oh, a manor. Need a small village first. I am a small village. I think I need another ox. Stuff is moving around so slowly now. Where was the ox? Here, yeah. Fuck it. Back to that spot where that log was for years. This is my manor? I expected something bigger. Welcome to the castle planner. Work in progress feature. You can edit the layout of your castle and plan the construction of new wings and towers. I think I want to put my manor somewhere else. Away from the peasants. this oh It has to be in the circle. It's a mini castle. Did I not place it? Is it getting built or what? Wait, what? It's here? Lose the resources for it? No, it came back. Press commit. Oh my goodness, I see. I'm fucking poor, man. I like how I hover a reset and just says work in progress. Fuck, how do I remove this? Alt left click.
The wall will have to wait. I'm definitely not living next to the peasants. Oh, this one's done. Need iron slab. Oh, I made the back blacksmith now. The hell's a bloomery? Someone for iron. Okay. One family dedicated to the mines. Somebody has to work the mines. And it's not gonna be me. What else can I add? The finest hides in all the land. I got a brewery, right? Yeah, I did. Berries, berries, with Vegetables, get your daily dose of greens, healthy and hearty. Berries, berries, bursting with flavor. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Well, Lack of administrative buildings? Are they sad because I'm not taxing them or what? God, I love these peasants. Oh, I need the clay too, right? For the um, level 2 church. Berries, berries, it's the mines. The peasants, they, they need the mines. They don't know what to do with their lives without the mine. Okay, let's see, is something not working right now? Oh, here. Oh, it's a trading post. I don't know what to do with those. Fucking bandits. It's like a list of buildings I can see somewhere. Even on the map? No. Because I don't remember if I made one of those malt thingies or not. The malt house. So what does it look like? Anything look like this? All look same. I don't think I have one. I one. Don't be 
it's too steep I think for our road <clears throat> Fuel is going ham, huh? I need more. It's kind of scary, though. I think at some point this is gonna be too much. I should probably add like a force there with it. Oh, it's on my land yet. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Then that just goes away when I go close. What's this game about? It's about managing a small town. And making sure the people in your town fuck as much as possible so they produce more children that you can send out into the mines. It's very important. Are these guys even working? Mining? Hey, this guy looks like he's 35 for example. But in this world, he's just 10 years old. He was just forced to grow up fast. To adapt. Life is hard. For some. Twenty five percent approval. Oh, I see. This affects population growth. So they actually have to be happy in order for your town to grow. That's kind of unlucky. Like happiness is barely real to begin with. For them. No, wait, I should do it like this, because then the houses will face that way, right? Yeah. Something keeps putting my game to one X speed. It's like one random event in the game or something. I think I need crop rotations just for these, huh? 40% still sounds kinda nice. Not sure. I figured out to make apples. Apples are little garden thingies you can add. I wanna go for the middle land and fill it up with farms. The whole damn place filled up with farms. This game is not like AOE4. Uh, this game still plays more like a simulator than it does uh, as an RTS or anything else. It's like a town manager simulator kind of game. Can I make animals yet? I don't know. I think I have to buy them here. But I'm poor. Wait, let me just try it. Disconnected from the road? It's not connected to the road here? Now it's connected. All right. <laughs> I 
locked because the trade row is set to no trade. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, man. Must be like a trade setting somewhere. Imagine reading what's on the screen though. I mean, I'm checking what's on the screen, but it simply says no trade. The trade on the left setting was there? Where do you see it? On the left? Where the fuck on the left do you see it? On the same screen? Oh my god! Why would they put it like that? <laughs> that is so counterintuitive! Do I ever want a surplus? Is Nana can read? I mean, when you say, when you go here and you try to buy a cow, you don't look here to see if something can be changed. You look at like policies or like something else. Also, it's completely grayed out. It just says no trade. There's no way you look there. I wonder when it's gonna come over. Why would it even start out on no trade? That makes even less sense. Do I need horses? That was one point I needed horses. Was it the hitching post? It doesn't need to say what it does. Well, I'm assuming it's faster than the ox, huh? It's more expensive. Because of stock management? Bro, how is there stock management if I don't have a fucking stock to begin with? <laughs> what management? What kind of logic is that? How can there be a surplus if I have zero to begin with? And there's no way to get them besides of this. There's no way that's intuitive.
That's why you can export that for it's by default a no trade. Do you, do you understand how little sense this makes? Just think of like every single city builder game you've ever played in your entire life. Where you click on the trade building and you just look at the things you want to buy. You just click on it and you press the plus and it goes up. <laughs> I can't think of a single game where there's a grayed out button that says no trade before you ever make the building. Just think of games like Anno, Civilization, like anything at all. Think of like Rimworld when you want to buy an item from a trader. How the fuck does it ever make sense, dudes? Thank you, Amadeo for the 29, and I'm just thank you for the sub gifts. Let's see. Oh, I have taxes now. Castle planner. Oh, the text building is on the same thing. Food given to the church. What do you expect to select the place to import or export stuff? I expect to see current stock and then a button to buy and sell. <laughs> what else do you need? I don't even understand the sentence. What do you expect? I expect the same thing from every single other game ever made. From like the last, I don't know, 25 years? I need more houses, huh? I wanna buy the next region, but I need 250. Is that no taxes? Oh, what the fuck? That lag spike. Two families living in here too. Holy shit, you can tax everything. Nice peasants living in my house. Of course it's a UI issue. It's ridiculous that people are in the chat to go like, oh my god, isn't it so obvious? There's no fucking way. And that's the least obvious thing I've ever seen in my life. Also, I have a retinue. Still no spear, so... Oh, this guy can make armor already. Oh, that's gonna be nice in this, yeah. Uh... Where's that thing I put for <laughs> making iron? It's the malt house. Oh, this is one of them. Wait, isn't it just this one? Maybe there's no Orients. Is it mining fucking clay or something over here? Maybe it has to be on top of the mine. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think it has to be on top of the mine. Yeah. 
And the other one's misplaced too, right? What the fuck are they mining in here then? Rock? sheep yet yo we have sheep no those are still people no we have sheep one <laughs> how many can this hold 57 sheep I can maybe get to these seem like whatever no Plate armor eventually. Holy shit. It's surprisingly cheap. Maybe you could just like not make any of these things yourself and just go for like a full trade village and buy everything. Need more houses. Is my food good right now? Six months fuel, six months food. Looks good. Finally, the minds. The children can fulfill their destiny. Finally. It's been so long. Placing it inside the next zone. <laughs> no cares though. So they're mining. I don't know what. Or is this clay? I think this one's clay. No, that's iron. This one's clay. Only 70 iron though. In one pit like that. All this is available. Uh oh, <laughs> it's the only two I can do. They skip every fifth meal. No more meals. Come 
one come all. Feast your eyes on the fine selection. <coughs> the honey is pretty good, huh? Goes really hard. Gonna have to start working for the tier 3 houses soon. It's only the church in the tab. Oh, I don't have the rooftop tiles, creator. Oh my god, where's all the tabs opening? Is it this one? The clay furnace. I'm gonna settle on this land and turn it all into a green field of wheat. The entire thing. And hopefully he doesn't attack me. 3000 iron too in the middle. I can never have a rain for the 27. My one sheep. Do I just text them more or what? Can't tell if they're actually mining iron or not. Oh no, they are. It's going down. Okay, cool. The market grows. And what kind of money do I even need to make a new settlement? I think it's my money here. Yeah. And not like a, a regional wealth.
Guess I'll keep building lifts. Right into the forest. Hard to see. Oh, there we go. Can I walk into my manor? I don't know. Can I? My manor looks like a stable. No planks again, huh? I think they're all being used for the equipment. Maybe in a saw pit too. I do have a lot of logs. I don't think I'm supposed to make this many small shit houses. I think they want you to play tall on this, huh? <laughs> did I not make the tavern? I thought I did. It's here. It's not done yet. This thing bugging out again, huh? Oh, whatever. You don't find food, I think. Still Zale's spirits made.
with a lot of woods. They're almost done mining before one spear got made. Where was that building? It's really hard to tell which building is which in this game. Everything looks the same. What's this one? Okay, HM87 for the 76. Is this game really that good? I think it's pretty good, yeah. I'm not sure if it's a finished game even by the time it releases though. I thought it was going to be four products, but I think it's just early access release. And this is the early, early access. It's really hard to keep track of what buildings I have and how many I have of them. Egg. Just remember everything, I guess, yeah. I have one plank available. One single plank. Did I not make the roof tower building? Fuck, I don't know if I put it somewhere or not. Like this one? Does anything look like this one? I thought I made one too, but I don't know where it is and they're still not making any. Just Despite me having, I think, a couple hundred clay. Oh, that's quite problematic. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, it's this building. That's why. It's not made yet. Five workers on it, though. Missing stone. I'm completely out of stone? No, I have 105 stone. I should have a stone mine down here somewhere. Or maybe it ran out. I don't remember where I put that stone miner. Maybe it disappeared when it ran out. Hmm. Don't know. Can check here, I guess. Maybe it also disappears when it runs out. Corpse Pit is just a graveyard, yeah. But I'm not sure if that's for my people. I think it's just for uh, bandits and stuff. No, 
12 XP, I guess. Can I see my food surplus anywhere? It's not like graphs, is it there? You can see how much food I've been eating in one year or something. Oh, 12 iron slabs. But he's still not making any. Why is that? I have iron slabs, I have 14 iron slabs. I'm just checking. Cunts is just praying all day. I want to add another, another field for more food. Oh, these are like 12% yield only, I think. I really need that next place. This place kind of sucks. I built, I built all my houses over the fertile lands. Every bit of it. It's the only fertile land. I could do it here too, I guess, if I remove the salt pits. Ah, fuck it. To expand, I need 250 gold coins. I have 27 right now, because I'm poor. Eleven blanks. Oh, he's making space now, finally! On 30 spears, I'm heading out. I'm gonna fuck those bandits in the ass. They've stolen from me one too many times. I can make the church soon, right? Oh, I can make it now. Well, that was fast upgrade. Oh, it's not done yet. <laughs> okay. And then it's just the tavern. The 14 slabs get stolen? Holy fuck, dude. I'm, I'm kidding those fucking bandits. I'm killing them dead. Jesus, they don't like tax. How come people don't like tax? I 
There's not even like a, like a proper attack or anything, huh? For those raids. They just kind of teleport in and teleport out in a second. No cares. Egg. I should get more of the food stalls. They seem really nice to have. Like, I, I'm not sure how you're supposed to sustain a village if you don't get fields out soon. Unless I give every single one of the small towns, uh, like one of these random chicken, vegetable, whatever upgrades. I have the iron pit. I think it expired. Oh yeah, delete the whole thing? No, it doesn't. Now just mining stone. Because the iron ran out. Which really means I have to go over to one of these places soon. Because there's 3,000 iron here and... 2,400 there. And that's a way to make it infinite, I think. Let's upgrade here. It has to be a rich deposit, whatever that means. Oh, I see. It needs to have like a crown on top of it. Like this one. But not the one I have. So, is the tavern good enough right now? No. No ale, huh? See, I have a brewer. The brewer has two war bows, huh? We don't have enough malt. Or barley. Kinda sucks. Kinda sucks I use all of the, this land for, for houses. It's getting better than most city builders? I don't know yet. I mean, I'm only like four hours in. And it seems to be building up to be a really nice city builder at least. Yeah, it's hard to say. I find that a lot of these type of games, they fall apart in mid and late game. Sometimes, literally, where the game just crashes or FPS drops to zero. But also, like, game mechanics, uh, they don't always, like, scale towards mid and late game. <laughs> it's my favorite city builder game? I don't know. Does the remote count? <laughs> Some of my favorite ones. I don't know if I want to upgrade those, since they don't have the backyard. Oh, I think green means they're upgradable. F 
food is going down. I'm not keeping up my food with what I have right now. And I'm not sure. Do I have flour? Ugh, flour going down too. I don't expand more than this. This is heavier than it looks. There is fertile land like over here, yeah, but it's really far. I, mean, I could I could build there. Like why not? It's better than starving, I think. There's like a circle here. Fuck, the next bike. And for some reason, the mining spot here. I think they have to move the resources first before I delete this mine. There's still 89 ore on it. I don't know if this is worth, because it's, it's so fucking far away. Also, I guess I can't really make this perfect. How do I do this? You can only set four points. Maybe if I just have like a whole family just living here next to this farm and that's it. And that's just their life. They just maintain this farm. I don't know if this fucks up like the whole uh, setup here. It, it might cock like, for example, the oxes. Like if they walk all the way here back and forth, it's occupied forever. And I guess I'll see. It's time to fuck some and Bandusi. See, where was that bandit camp? Here? There's two here. Oh, there's one here too. Oh my god, I'm kidding that one first. Oh nice, you can hunt key things. They're so tired already. Oh, it's because I'm sprinting them with double right click or what? Right, 
Yeah, I think double right click makes them sprint. So they got tired. Fuck. I think these devs are total war players. <laughs> With commands like that. Not sure. Are they still getting tired? They're tired out before they reach the fight. Wonder if they can just rest if I don't move them. No, doesn't seem like it. 23% effectiveness. Oh, it does work, maybe. Oh, this is running. Jesus. It was running. Was it on by default? Well, it is only 16 of them. Wonder what the archer range is. Wait, what already? Oh. <laughs> Alright. Now what do we have here? Turns out, if you shoot over 100 arrows into their direction, morale drops fast. Are they fucking running again? What? That is such a fickle button. It's exactly like Total War, right? Yeah, it's all the same thing. Like, the moment melee engaged, they were like sucked into it like it was a black hole. They were forced to fight my melee no matter what. There are definitely Total War players on this dev team. More games should steal Total War mechanics. Ain't no way they're the only ones. Making use of it. When searching for the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people who surely need them. Though, it is your right to keep. It's mine now. I can get the new region now. Oh, let's see where's this pants. Can oh, you can this band outside of home. Okay. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Hopefully, taking the land in the middle doesn't trigger like any 
weird shit with the opposing lord. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, what? No command of this region? You need command of the region too. I need a thousand influence on top of the 250. Oh, okay. I have 930 influence. Let's see. Can be gained by raising the settlement level, enacting a policy, or conquering bandit camps. Oh, and also, what was it? Upgrading churches and manor. Guess I let them rest and then go for another camp. I wonder if it's fine if I just let them sprint and there'll be like one fatigue by the time they get back. And then I just disband them. Enemy spotted. What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? What am I looking at? The fuck? <laughs> okay, man. All right, I see how it is. Hope they don't catch up or something somehow. The moment I left, same fucking frame. Where's the farmhouse here? Oh, here. I'm still crafting it. I don't have a second squad. Those are both my squads that I have. Like a third one, I guess. I wonder how much one farmhouse can work. Ah, shit, man, I have food problems. Can do another hunting camp. I hope it doesn't like over hunt or something and, and and kill that place forever. Oh, this might only be too much. Okay, yeah, never mind. They're, they're stopping at 10 animals. Okay, I lack food. I, I made, I've made too many houses. <laughs> Fuck. I made too many houses before expanding properly. I think we're gonna starve. And for some reason, there's some fucking assholes coming here. The hell is this? They just get full stamina now. Oh, dude, they just get full stamina now. Stamina cheats. I have 250 gold, yeah, but I need a thousand influence to buy the next region. I have 930 right now. So I need to send out these guys and kill that bandit camp again, and then I have it, and then I can buy this region. I haven't tried the retinue dudes yet, no. Where are they? Here? Those are birds, I fucking hate birds. Where'd they go? They looted my fucking farmhouse? But it didn't even have anything, it had two logs, now it's one. They took one log and left. Are you serious? Oh, there they are. Oh, the combat in this looks like it's gonna be really fun once you have armies versus armies. Especially if you get to defend on top of walls and like a thousand fucking bandits come up. 
They are billions now. Holy shit, I would not run into this shit. <laughs> Wait, he punched him once and left. Okay, I don't think I need these guys. These guys can go over and fuck this camp up. Just imagine being 16 dudes and you run into a squad of 36 archers. Especially in, in times like this where one, one scape wound could just be an infection and you die. You get the shields back and everything when you disband, yeah. It's only when they die you don't get anything back. Also, for some reason, it's capped at 36. I wonder why. Firewood. Firewood. Can this guy stop making shields? We have 80 shields, man. We don't even have 80 soldiers. Fucking hell. We have one month of food left. Maybe I start trading? Oh, it's a livestock trading. Wrong one. Uh, what is it? This one. Two dollars to export, twelve dollars to import. Yeah, f forget about trading. It's not happening. Unless I could sell something that's worth a lot. Six fucking coins per, per shield? Alright, dude. I guess we're just starving? If they starve, it just meant they were weak anyway, so I guess it works out. Oh, I need to wait. I, I need to set this all to wheat. There's no way we're, we're farming flax when we're <laughs> when we're starving. <laughs> fucking hell! Oh, fucking hell, man! At least we'll die warm. I have a bakery. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh boy. The lack of food is hitting soon. Oh, that didn't give any... Influ I give 10 influence. I need to do more of my military. Hmm? Setting it over here to clear all the camps for money. Three camps in this place. 
Thank you, Dennis, against the Wolf with the Prime. Oh, bloody thing, the 89. Our next thing, the 46. Upgrading my mana also gives me the thing. <laughs> Give food for influence. 100 food? Honeys and berries. Oh, wait, I can have more people work in the honey places. At least I'll get food from that. I don't know how much it gives, but it's better than nothing, I guess. This farm is still not done. A family is hungry, they might starve. I think just cut them down. They're not hungry if they're dead. I don't know about this farmhouse. Doesn't feel good. I could have more foragers too. What else? Logging? They look so fucking goofy. I wonder if these guys account for the workforce or if they just like get generated. Because if these guys count for the workforce, <laughs> there's a lot of people missing. Although it might be worth Stop the bandits from stealing from me and Get some money out to buy the, the backyard upgrades Oh shit they engaged my archers Wait, 2k now. Alright. Claim with influence. Claiming. C claiming. Am I supposed to do something? Claiming. Yeah, do I have to put men there or something? Wait, let's let's check. Um, I guess is it military? No. I think I have to send over a squad or maybe people. Ah, I can't be honest to go through that whole list. 
me see. Maybe now I can put this. No, not yet. Oh, it's just slowly claiming. Okay. Well, I'm gonna clear all the bandits then. Just takes time. Hotkey disappearing. Two hundred gold, not bad. It's a couple more farms. Hopefully, I can solve my food problem soon. Food's like the main thing right now. We starving. Sweet niblets for the prime. Thank you very much. <laughs> My one sheep. Seventy six flower. Oh boy. What if the houses become self-sustaining with the upgrades? Oh, I upgraded by accident, fuck. Egg. Does it only cost wood to make the food? Uh, not really. It's coins, in fact. You need to pay coins to make the backyard gardens. Coins are hard to get. Killing bandits gives a lot, though. I think apples must be like the, the high food one. But it takes long for it to... Start paying off. I might as well go for more apples in that case for the long term. No bandits here? And about the other one? Some weird like screen uh, movements every time some of those things come up. This passes out. 121 only from this one. Ah, it's fine. Better than nothing. Might 
My food went up for the first time in forever. I think all in apples now and hope it fixes itself over time. Who needs to go to the market when you just go apples in your backyard? Almost got this place too. Imps and Ion in this place. Oh, this one has bandits. I'm just gonna guess or just get a bonus fighting in open fields it's mine now let's see let's put another camp like here Homeless people tense. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Wait, the whole place was farmland, right? I don't have to be so stingy about it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put my houses here, I guess. Can these guys hurry up? I got shit to do. I'm out of fuel? Oh, this is the other town. Oh my god, I was about to say. Bannerloid vibes from this man. Same game, really. Okay, well, time to start building here, I guess. Um, how do I start? Are you serious? The wood didn't carry over. Oh, I need to check. Maybe I can like funnel over supplies or something. There's no way you restart in every single region. Makes no sense. Must be like the trade outpost or something like that. Although this is trading to other things. Hmm.
No, this is selling to other people. Huh. Just trade now in other regions, but there's no option to give away stuff, so to say. It's only trade. Oh, wait. No, never mind. No, it's something else. I don't think the trading outpost is gonna let me trade between my own towns. I think the trading outpost is strictly for trading with like AI merchants. Dude, I have like no resources for this place. Eight. Hmm. I can't even build one right now. I think I just have to restart on a region like this, and that's it. Kinda of silly though, because it's just it's just like right here, you know? Like infinite resources here. I'll look into it more. Maybe there's uh, an option somewhere I haven't seen. Seems poorly designed though if it is, because it, <laughs> it's too hard to fight for something so simple. Where are these guys at now? I think farmer towns are a thing, it's just... You have to restart, I think. Oh, they have to go to the region I drafted them in. Okay. They have no logs at all, huh? Oh, wait, is it bringing it from... Where the fuck is it bringing this from? Here? Yeah, it gave me a couple supplies here. Let's get an extra horse for this place, I guess. Oh, was that an option for fire in town in the huts? I didn't see. gonna be a while until this starts running at least the food here is kind of okay i think putting up like all the apples and stuff actually worked here who needs farms if every single house is his only old apple orchard <laughs> 
Every single one of them. Yeah, I think the apples will catch up eventually. And vegetables is probably the really shitty one. But it's still not bad to have, I think, just for the food variety. Oh, I didn't mean to upgrade that. Oh my god. I was looking at the garden option. Houses are self-sustaining with one of these upgrades then. Food is kinda easy. Farms are almost useless then. Besides for making clothing, I guess. This one here. storage is never happening huh no it's never happening even the clothing is kind of difficult because i need cheap i need cheap for clothing i need to delete the houses that don't have gardens they they really ruined the whole run honestly like these houses here they, none of them have gardens Whoa, 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 wait, that is, is that my problem? They spawn on the other side of the planet. These guys aren't even home yet, man. <laughs> All right. How's the game so far? It's pretty nice so far. I think these kind of games, they become like game of the year material after a couple dozen patches and content updates and uh, maybe a mod or five here and there. Just gotta give it time. I think the base idea of the game is super well made. It's just so pleasant to play. Also, these people are just fucking starving. I think. Unlucky. Unlucky life. Oh, the hunting camp is free. I didn't realize. The logging camp is not free, which means you could break these settlements, huh? From the very beginning. Oh, they're almost here already. Oh my god. So now he sets their stamina. Can I just rally here? Oh, I can. Please don't sprint.
to ascending my control groups. Pretty random stuff. Can I not split up my groups? It's so annoying that you can't, or what? Yo, they're reaching my village. Oi! There's nothing to steal here, so good luck, I guess. Have fun. Oh, the archers are way faster than the melee. This game makes me want to replay Bannerlord again. Okay, easy LP for the 88. I'm a Michael, thank you for the 58. Bunch of barbarians attacking me. Oh, they're not attacking the village. Perfect. So, summer is coming soon, as they're about to die running into 36 archers. These fucking barbarians. You can't fight the Lord now. I think the Lord is just like a little first person camera thing, just for fun. That's the range already? Holy shit. Oh shit, I actually made it. Now it really sucks that I can't split up my units. Must be a way to split them up. My archers! Can I kite them out maybe? Stand my guns, best, and just hope these guys kill them faster than they kill my archers. Oh, maybe I just make another group instead. I didn't see an option to recruit less than Max, though. My archers. <clears throat> oh, they're doing good on food now. Actually going up <laughs> from all the gardens. One of them is going to bite me in the ass later somehow. Nah, I doubt it actually. Hey, 
leg. Hungry, just go yourself. I'm sure a lot of people actually did do it back then. Own vegetable garden, a chicken or two. I need to think of what to do next even. All oh, right, it's set up this town, but what do I do with this town now? Besides this waiting. Because I need... I need to move over supplies from here to the other one, actually. Now that I think of it. But if you can't move stuff over, it's kind of awkward. There must be a way to move it over. Maybe it's like technology or something. It's gotta be something. There's no way. No, I think this is trade route with the AI merchants. That's a lot of stuff still not existing. Huh? Oh yeah, this is definitely <laughs> really, really, really access. It's kind of shit if I can't send over food and stuff. Because what's the point of the settlement then? I'm gonna try the trading outpost again. There must be an option there somehow. I refuse to believe this is it. Although it still makes very little sense the way it's set up. Maybe you can trade between two towns using the economy of the two towns itself instead of mine. So selling and buying high and low wouldn't matter too much if I'm just trading between myself anyway. Well, let's see if I can make two groups. Kind of an odd menu, no? I definitely have more than 36 spears and shields. Oh, it's this region, maybe. No. Oh, now it's okay. I can't even click on this one. What the fuck? I can't even remove it anymore. Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> ah, shit. Hire mercenaries. So the group. Oh no, they're both here. Bread, freshly baked. I have hundred and thirty shields and sixty six spears. No, weird. It says recruits missing, but it shouldn't be. Oh, now what? I just re-added it. Now it works. Now, now it works, I guess. Sure, whatever. It's fine. Oh, I think it depends on where you draft it from. Or... Yeah, I think so. On where you have it, o have it over. It's a slow to update sometimes.
Okay, cool. Can micro some armies at least. Okay, let's fix this fucking town. They have no supplies, exposed goods, no stable space, and they're homeless. All in all, I'd say it's not that bad. The five logs. It's weird too. It says none of goods. Construction costs four, but I have five. the trade thingies oh i see that's still kind of weird though you think you could just send over like an initial pack of goods just to get the space going instead of making a trade wing post that you don't have resources for it's super weird <laughs> it's also weird that i don't have resources for it because it says four needed right and then five Not sure what's up with that. Fuck. Can't they just become <laughs> fertilizer? It's still the same run. I just moved over to a new region. Like, my main town is over here. It's blocked again, too. Generic so it's full and I'm looking at it. It's fucking four bows five spears and nine shields What the fuck It's 2500 space in this place too Okay, let's see. Get this trading post out. Get more houses out here too. Although they have no food. <laughs> They're fucking starving here. 
Ah, oh, shit. Okay, let's see. But now it's gonna buy it, right? They don't sell logs, actually. Only planks. Hmm. I think it really just mostly comes down to restoring buildings. Like the whole town. It's also not connected at all. What the fuck? Oh, there, it's connected. <laughs> it's all done. These trades are not balanced. Export price for stone is one, and import is eleven. Hunger, region name. Might be this place. Not sure. <laughs> I don't have enough people to work anything here. Oh, there we go. this place self-sustaining yeah <laughs> the gardens were actually good enough I played and finished the last spell. Death from starvation. Yeah, well, you know. If they come over here, we have 280 berries to eat, but... <laughs> it is what it is. The population it doesn't go up, huh? Because there's not enough uh, approval here, I think. Unburied bodies, minus three. Oh, even the corpse mount from the other town doesn't do it. That's kind of shit. That is kind of shit. It's 
There's no way I'm buying planks with 12 coins. It says it enables trading with trade points and other trade points in other regions too. A regional wealth is the currency in use for trading. They don't have money. I don't see any other options. Yeah, I don't see any other options. Seems like this is just it. <clears throat> it's so silly too. <laughs> this is fucking starving here. And over here is a utopia almost. Hmm. Must be a mechanic I'm overlooking. Check all the buildings again. Or maybe here, I don't know. Must be something. I think they did an update. This passive's name and description. How they have fellow. And the uh, upgrade is called Fence Up. Oh, I have a level up here too. <clears throat> I don't know what I want here yet. I think heavy plowing if it's going to be a farmland. Hmm. The text on share, I don't know. It feels like every time you get a new region, it's like you're playing a new run. You gotta think to like, how do I even share over, like, say, the iron I mine here to the town on top then? Maybe it's a different mechanic here. Oh, what about from here? No, nothing here. I can claim another region to not do anything with. Checking the help. Let's see.
Regions can only exchange good by trade. The fuck? Oh, escape. <laughs> it has to be. <laughs> it has to be a way. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to make another region otherwise. There has to be a way somewhere. Oh my god, the families here are dying of starvation. And I can't feed them because there's nowhere to fucking play stuff. I have no resources here. So one hunting camp should be enough. I don't know why this is not enough. The slacking here is some shit. Are you starving? You can't hunt because he's starving, but he also has to feed the village. It needs regional wealth to trade, but they have no money. I can make a trade route, but... So what, the do, what the fuck do I do with this? Importing a stone for 11 coins apiece? Bro, they have a total of one coin! support of a new region i think i'm missing a mechanic somewhere but i i can't find where like i'm i'm looking for all the tech i'm looking for all the buildings and i, I can't find anything and it's all gathering stuff mining stuff logistics hold up yo it's this fucking one the pack station Oh my god, it wasn't a trading outpost! Oh my goodness, no wonder! This should be a default building that pops up the moment you put down a fucking town! Oh, where did I, where did I even put it? Here? Oh, here. Let's put this in highest. Kind of annoying to rebuilding the whole town again every time though. I was thinking I was gonna make like one giga town over the whole map. Oh, I don't have coins for camp here yet. Send it over. They can only send over one thing at a time. <laughs> oh. I guess some berries so they can not starve to death here. What? Both regions must offer something for the border to work? Oh, dude. They have nothing to offer here! I just wanted to move resources over. <laughs> you can't offer wood. They don't take logs as a trade resource. 
And the only thing they have is firewood, maybe? I don't fucking know. Well, this is even the other way around, I think. This is ascending. This is receiving. Was it them receiving and me sending? I don't fucking know. It's kind of scuffed. I feel like I'm working against my own regions. Especially since it's just right there. It's, it's like... <laughs> it's like an hour walk. Not even. 20 minute walk. I don't even want to take the firewood. They're gonna freeze in winter. You're gonna freeze, man. It's a lot of micromanagement too, huh? Like at some point I wanna send back wheat here and uh... The ill stuff. And you need to micromanage one of these things for every single one of them. Oh, maybe this one has another one. Let's see, it goes back once per month. The apples are paying off, yeah. Food here is good now. We eating eggs, apples, honey, everything. In fact, the gardens kind of solved the food for the upgrades of the entire thing. Like, I don't need anything else. Houses are entirely self-sustaining for food once they get to it. So, the main thing I need is tavern supply, which is uh, gonna come back to the Bailey thingy. And clothing, of course. And clothing is gonna be sheep plus flux. Or flex. Flex? Flex, yeah. But yeah, I, I can't kickstart this stupid town. What are these guys on right now? Pack station. They have seven meat to share with the entire village. It's five families. Make it like I gave for the 86. So now let's bring the 41. Oh my god, they're all gonna freeze and, and starve during winter. It just, it just closed my eyes. Those people, they're not gonna survive. Oh, these guys are too far from the market, I think. Aren't they? Yeah, I think... And that's not even that far though. It's like right there. Hard to say. This one's not too far. Guess I'll just put another small market here. Put this one. It looks so cursed.
Okay, I guess I'll keep expanding this town until that one stabilizes. And just hope they stabilize by themselves somehow. How's the game so far? It's really nice. I have run into some really scuff mechanics though, or they're very poorly explained, like whichever. It's one of the two. I think they get bigger gardens for more food if I do this? Yeah, it's really scuffed. What the fuck's happening here? Too steep. Oh no, man. They look so perfect, too. Fuck! <laughs> no, it was so perfect. Uh, food day seems to be completely fine. Okay, Let's see if we can get this town going. It needs a new cycle. I think the people that live here need to starve and freeze first for non-starving and non-freezing people to move in so they can actually work for like one cycle and then I can get it going. so freezing winter is coming and they have no fuel life is hard as a peasant not for me i'm i'm in a i'm a lord in a manor here me and my 15 wives <clears throat> I need to set up that place too. Uh, like I want to turn this entire thing into a farmlands. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, what the fuck? They're just starving here. They have one coin between five families. That's how poor they are. One fucking coin! A family is cold. Sire. I'm cold, my lord. Let 
You don't think they can trade for the mule? Well, they can't buy a mule because they only have one coin. They need 25. <laughs> and I can't send over money. I can buy a mule here, I guess. At least I have a big army. For some reason, these guys here are not going to the market. Oh, this one did. Even though it's not far. Uh, strange. Missing the other clothing type too. No linen, no yarn. Very cool simulation that every single market and every single thing has its own little thing going on. It's rare for games to be so in depth. Are these guys frozen to death yet, or what? <laughs> We need new people to work. Fuck, man. I don't even get how they're homeless. Bury the bodies, too. Wait, did I make a course? Oh, this is no one working here because there's enough people. At least I have 32 logs, so that's nice. I guess I could make the other one. I don't remember if I put one of these or not. No, I did. There's just no one to work on it. I could pull out the chopper, I guess. Yeah. Land here is so nice. Everyone's well fed and warm. And rich. And you move a couple steps over and it's just a fucking slum. People starving, freezing, dying. There's something really buggy too about this this message. Generic storage full, and I check what it is. And it's some dude hoarding 16 bows and 12 shields. 
going 13 points past his max capacity. Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'll check if I can make my armies properly now. It's very laggy, but it's fine, I guess. Yeah, okay, that works at least. Okay. Can't see what's up here, huh? so low it's cold sire his body's everywhere sire i'm homeless sire i'm hungry and cold oh fuck haven't eaten in days sire We have 200 roof tiles? That seems excessive. Do, do I start sending roof tiles, man? Fuck it! Give me a roof tile. Salesman. Oh, I need a route first. 144 coins. Well, can't afford it right now, so... Kill some bandits. I can make another camp to starve on this side. <laughs> Are these just... I think this is all early access stuff, right? They just... They don't exist yet. I could wait for... I better start here. Hmm. Let me see. Let's save for 500. See if it changes. I play Frostburn to better launch? No. 15 April is uh, the time when Dota comes out, man. There's no time. Dota, new patch. Also, Rimworld and Star Sector in this game. I, mean, I don't have time. Somebody needs to work the corpse pits. Even though we don't have food or fuel. I don't know why this one hunter camp doesn't f feed the entire village. It's weird. Because I think this hunter camp fed like 50 people by himself every year. It makes it work, are we? Oh no.
cheated him? Never. Perhaps he simply does not know how to cook properly. Town. <laughs> oh, this fucking town, man. Oh, no, they sprinted. Oh, my God. I've got to turn off the default sprint. Maybe there's another mechanic. Well, time to check all buildings again. Maybe if I assign families to it, something unlocks. Oh, there well, is a family on this. Never mind. Ay, ay, ay. How awkward. Can they even ever trade? They don't have enough money to buy a horse. <laughs> They're stuck here forever. I can kill bandits with him, I guess. Trading is such a weird mechanic anyway. Because it's not like trading where you say buy low and then sell high or something like that. It seems to be straight up, you just sell or buy at fixed prices. I'm surprised plate armor is so cheap. Gambeson is uh, 16 bucks, plate armor is 18.
Boy, thanks. Find out if armies take away my workers? I don't know. It kind of feels like there's spawn units out of thin air, but I'm not sure. I mean, like, if they took people from the town, uh, I would have starved three battles ago when I took everyone out for a long walk, killing three bandit camps. But the food is going up, and so is the fuel, so... I don't think it actually takes people. Feels kind of good. Okay, I need someone to work the corpse pits. This ain't it. Somebody has to get rid of the smell. And the cold and the hunger. Oh, it's actually the hunting now. It's just not enough. They have a hundred coins. What can this town buy with a hundred coins? Oh no, it didn't even go to them. It went to this town. Oh my god, it's at the nearest town. <laughs> Is this a nearer? No, there's no fucking chance. The rich get richer. Wait, what can you do? It's just life, man. It's just life. Some people get to eat apples from the backyards. And others get to starve for free. Feels great, man. I kind of want to attack this and just see what happens. What if I got butt-fucked? You can build a wall in this game, but it's limited to the mana, I think. Oh, I don't have planks at all? Zero? Apparently we're out of planks here. No wait, it's showing me the resource of the wrong town. Yeah, it's this one. I have 75 planks. That's weird, because I even clicked on this manor in a different region. And it showed me the resources for the other town.
Oh, I just didn't have one wood or something. But it's kind of whatever anyway. Like, what the hell am I defending from? Whatever bandit I meet, I'm just killing them in the field anyway. Where is the family here? <laughs> Where they start digging those graves? Happiness does not come from within, apparently. It comes from burying unburied bodies. Well, I can't get rid of the hunger in this place either. Maybe I just... Oh, I have two people in the ox. Jesus, that was not needed. What about now? It still has a level up too, but oh, I, was sa I was saving it. Anal. I can't even do the trade, right? Because I need... I need the firewood here so they don't freeze. So I have literally nothing to trade in this place. Oh, I can sell the roof tiles now at least. Export! We're selling them for eight each. Went to the other town again. <laughs> well, fuck him, I guess. Oh, the church buries people too. Also, the town where you raise units from? Yeah, well, that's not what it says on the thingy. It says it goes to the nearest town. So unlucky, I guess. 320 gold.
I think I'm gonna attack the other AI and that's it for the game? Feels like there's nothing else to do besides waiting for this time to go up here. Oh! Oh no, they have the money. No fucking money. Actually, don't get why these guys, these guys are so hungry. From the five people that live here, two of them are dedicated on food and one is dedicated on burying bodies and nothing is happening of any of them. Like the bodies are not getting buried and no one's getting food. The pantry is missing? I think so? I don't know. I mean, they're still setting stuff. They're just not gathering stuff, I think. Try it, I guess. Not like this place has much to lose anyway. I don't know if they cleaned up the bodies yet in this zone. Not sure why you have to clean bodies anyway. Don't they just become fertilizer? <laughs> they traded for berries. But because they didn't have enough firewood, they only got 12 berries instead of 20, I think. Unlucky. This place has 7 on the coin, meanwhile, because they sold roof tiles, I guess. Uh, we're eating good, and they're not eating at all. These guys don't have... The fuck? They don't have firewood in some of them? We're 500 firewood though. Doesn't sound right. Oh, weird. Oh, this one doesn't have an upgrade. Time to claim what's mine. Which is everything, the entire world. Everything is mine. Oh, they're running? Oh my god. Okay, time. Back home. Back home. Never mind. Never mind. Dude, there's no way running should be default. settings for it. I hope so. It cocks very often. 
exchange it, there's no like penalty or like some other thing for rebanding and disbanding units all the time. Oh my god, even just here, they're already running. Look at this guy lost a third of his timer, just running from the manor to one street over. What the fuck? I could buy plate mill. I have nothing to spend money on right now in this town. I only upgraded those dudes to the max almost. I have no left to declare war. I don't even know how. I can't like speak to him or anything. Can't zoom out anymore? Okay. Ah, uh, another dog. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's surround this fucking manor first. Do they have anything at all? Huh? <laughs> Let me check if this place has food yet. No, they serve zero food. At least they have fuel for 10 months. It's probably the bodies of the people that perish. It makes no sense. How, how, how does two of these guys not have enough food for the whole village? I think the AI opponent also hasn't started playing yet. At first I thought maybe it was fog of war, but... There is no other lord to beat. Is it too far to transfer food? I don't know. Is it? They don't have a town. My objective is to kill the other lord. I guess the early access part is maybe just claiming his land and then you win. They don't actually play yet. But it's strange that you can declare war and there's nothing to attack or or take.
Yeah, there's, there's no one here. Looks like it's just a sandbox map. Okay, I think I've seen everything this game has to offer for a while. Ugh. It's very, very, really better, huh? It's like an alpha state of the game. I think I'll I'll cut this day short for a stream, and then tomorrow I'll play Rim World. More Rim Job World. Well, this game is really cool. I think it has the uh, the basis for one of those twenty thousand hour games. Looks neat. Yeah, definitely off a state of the game though. Big hack, look, hack and love puns for the sub gifts. All right, I'm done for the day. See you all tomorrow. I will play some.